with y'all, man. It's Lil Shift, and we're back at it again with another banger. Today, I'm gonna give you guys reasons on why I chose the Dodge Charger RT over a Dodge Charger Scat Pack 392. So make sure you guys tune into the end of the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to it. Damn, she looking sexy. Reason number one on why I chose to get a Dodge Charger RT over a Scat Pack 392 or an SRT 392 was because of the price range. Back in August of 2022, when I was car shopping looking for any kind of charger that was a V8, my price range was in between 30 to 40K. And Scats at the time were going for like 40 to 45, or 42 at the lowest to 45. And that was a little bit out of my price range. So I had pretty much no other choice than to go for an RT. Um, I didn't mind it at all because you can do more things to it. You can, sorry about that. Somebody's alarm started going off. But yeah, I didn't mind getting an RT because you can literally make it look like a SCAT or an SRT, Hellcat, whatever. You can literally make it look like that. So I was like, you know what? I don't mind it. Still, still good, still pretty fast, faster than your average car on the road. 400 horsepower wasn't bad. The only difference I saw in my eyes between an RT and a SCAT was the 100 horsepower difference. And you can easily make this thing push six to 650 easily if you just throw some money at it. But yeah, that's reason number one on why I wanted this Another car. reason on why I chose the Dodge Charger RT over the SRT or um, SCAT Pack 392 was because the RT can actually handle boost. The 6.4 liter can't. So you can still tune it, you can do what you want to it, but it can't handle boost as good as the 5.7. That's another main reason on why I got this car. That's about it for that reason, number two. Reason number three, on why I wanted the Dodge Charger RT over the SCAT. So, reason number three is the reliability. And I felt as though the RT will be a better daily driver than a SCAT. SCAT is a little, little too over a daily driven car like if you have a scat like i know a couple people who have scats that have a daily driver or a backup car so don't get me wrong you can still daily drive it but the rt you can you know you can daily drive this thing like crazy right now i'm pushing 50k miles still running good no problems with it very reliable it's more reliable than any of the cars that i've had in the past i've had way more issues with all the other cars with my infinity with only 100k miles on it with my toyota camry that had 150k miles on it than this so pushing 50k miles no problems at all no issues still running good it's pretty reliable so that's that's another reason why reason number four back to what i was saying with the body style the, the srt body style the srt every this literally looks like a hellcat like from the outside in like it's just not a hellcat engine in it so I'd rather, I'd rather save like about 10 to 15,000 to get an RT to make it look like a, a cat or a SRT scat and put that couple thousand into the engine to make it push that much power. So that's another reason why I got it. So all around this car is just great. I get a lot of looks. I get a lot of attention um, just from it being loud. It is straight pipe. At this point, I was like, as long as I got a V8 charger, I really don't even care to be honest. So. 34k i couldn't go wrong with this john so that's my baby yeah let's move on to reason number five guys reason number five man the reason why i got a dodge charger rt or one of the reasons on why i got a dodge charger rt was because of the gas so back when i got it in august of 2022 or around that time gas was like about five to six dollars a gallon like on 93 so it was crazy with the rt i heard you could fill up with 87 so i'm like Shh. If I could fill up with 87 at the moment, that was that was amazing. Knowing that having this car, gas will run out like this. You drive it to the store and back, you already had half a tank after you done filled up to a full tank. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save me a pretty a pretty penny having this car. I could fill up on 87 or 89. So I was like, I gotta look for this, John. I gotta look for it. I gotta get it. I need an RT. Cause the SCAT, 6.4 liter, it will run out of gas faster. And also you have to fill up with 93. Gas was crazy at the time and I needed an RT. My Hemi boys do not fill up with 87, dog. You gonna mess your car up. Do not fill up with 87. I've never done that. I've heard you get a Hemi tick, which is like a tick in your engine. 
sense. It sounds bad, it feels crazy, it's bad. Do not fill out 87. At least fill it with 89, preferably 93. But I don't think I've ever filled out 89, maybe once, but most of the time 93. Gas did go down a little bit, so right now we're sitting at like three or four dollars a gallon, which ain't too bad, but that's pretty much all the reasons on why I got this car. I thought it was a great car in general. I heard it was very reliable. Still got the SRT body stock, still brake necks, still can be loud, still a V8. You got all the features you would get in the Hellcat. Great car, great, great car. All right guys, those are my top five reasons on why I got a Dodge Charger RT over to SRT392 or Scat Pack 392. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out all my other videos that I drop. I will be dropping content like every, probably like once or twice a week. I'm trying my best, I, I work too much so I won't be able to upload every day, but I'm trying my best to. That's about it, man. Share this on out with your friends, your family. Give me the 500 subscribers. Thank you guys for tuning in.